What are you yelling about, dude? You don't even know, do you? You're just yelling to yell. That'd be my. That'd be Lies. my Lies. You just be yelling and shit. Lies, why are you? Because she'll like. She likes to. You just like look at her or whatever. She's like, meow! And I'm like, what? Yeah, dude, what chill is out. it? Why are you fucking screaming at me, bitch? She just yells a yell. I don't know. That do be how they do. Oh my god. So. This is gonna sound really weird. Is it weird that, like. I've kind of been, so like, you know, I, I've i said multiple times that I don't like getting my career started okay. yeah. and then I'll yeah. think about having kids seriously. I do eventually want children, but like, I, it's just not. Aaron doesn't want to have kids at all. Mm -hmm. Like his, his goal is like, be, why? <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know. Um, I just feel like at a certain point. I just feel like at a certain point, I just like, I, I don't know, like biologically, I just, I just feel like kids at a certain point is the next step. Of course, it doesn't have to be, but it feels like it is for me. Uh, yeah, like, I think Aaron could be a good dad if he wanted to be a dad, right? Mm. But I've never been like, ah, oh, yeah, I want to have kids with Aaron necessarily. Like, I do want to have kids with Aaron, but like, it's like, it's never been like super strong. Mm -hmm. And like now that I've been dating Andrew, I've had this like pervasive thought. I don't know if this is just like, like I'm older now. And so my body's just like, hey, five years left till 30. You know, you're Dude, uh, TikTok, we have, okay, First of all, we have kids. We have uh, people who have kids at like 38. It fucking works. So. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I know that like I've done the research and everything about it. Like I, I understand they do all this fear mongering shit where they're like, yeah, your chances do it in 20, of having yeah. a kid with birth defects doubles. And I'm like, yeah, it doubles from like 0.1%. Like, yeah. chill. <laughs> um, like, you know, Andrew hates kids too, though, right? See, he, we've kind of talked a little bit, like not seriously, obviously. Right, no, no, sure. Um, but like we kind of talked a little bit, and like he he does want kids, but he's like he's just like me, where he wants to like wait, like for a while, you know. And like I've said that I'm not going to seriously think about having kids until after I get my PhD, which I will be if all goes well. I will be 32. <laughs> By the yeah. time I like actually get my PhD and my career actually fucking starts, yeah. Um, <laughs> because I'm I'm in it for the long haul. I drank the Kool Aid. I'm here. Um, but like, yeah, no, I've just been like, kind of like, I don't know what it is, but I've kind of just been like, I could have I could have kids with Andrew. Right. Put me in. Andrew's a good like, guy. Like something. He's a loving hmm? guy. I said Andrew's a good that's, guy. See, that's the thing. Like that's that's kind of the thing that I'm thinking of is like he's a really sensitive person and that's one of the reasons that I like I fell in love with him sensitive because, don't you mean like, fucking gay <laughs> he is bi so you know he might be on something oh my god he was like so you know when he first told his like mama about his sexuality and she kind of did that whole Christian thing where she was like you know, it's not okay, and like, yeah. you know, it's an abomination against God, and blah, 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 blah. Um, he kind of wanted to be all like, I don't know if I really am bi, I may just be going through a phase yeah, or I know, whatever. I know he wanted to do that. And I was like, you know, like, as, a, as somebody who is queer, I was like, no, honey. <laughs> I was like, look, it, it may be that way, because only you can identify yourself, right? Right. But I'm just going to let you know that repressing those feelings does not make them go away. Yeah. Like, if anything, it's going to make him just, like, super whore, like gay whore out it, at some it's point. Gonna, that's what I said. I was like, it's going to make those feelings stronger. Do not try to hide them. Do not try to ignore them. They are not oh, yeah. going to go away. You're going to crave dick so much more. <laughs> And so, like, you know, he was kind of like, he's he's kind of been pushing that narrative a bit here and there. Like, you know, kind of like, oh, I don't know if I really am. And I'm just like, okay, you know, but like, I know. And 
<laughs> so yeah, last night we were watching that uh, uh that Aladdin remake, oh. and he was just like, "Is it just me, or is this guy who plays Aladdin like the most handsome motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire life?" He was just like guy crushing hard on yeah. Aladdin, and I just thought it was fucking amusing because like a week ago he was like, "I don't know if I am," and he's like sitting here like talking about like oh, how he would like. Yeah, how fucking yeah, hot the this fuck dude is. Cheeks. Well, he was like, he was like, I would suck this guy's dick, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I know, I would too. He's a hot guy, and like, you're not saying anything revolutionary to me, right. like, you know, it's just so fucking funny that he's just like, oh my god, he's it's so funny, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, there's, uh, it's just, it's again, he's you know, been this lifestyle his entire life so yeah I don't remember how to play this game holy shit that's it okay. what game you playing uh Fire Emblem Warriors it's like uh you ever play Dynasty Warriors or anything like that no oh it's so good okay so and I think you would actually love uh, either Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors so basically it's mm -hmm. One, Dynasty Warriors is feudal China because, you know, they're not their dynasties and stuff. And it's historically <laughs> accurate to, like, what dynasties and stuff it is. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then Ninja Warrior, or Samurai Warrior, sorry. Those are the ones that are uh, in, in the aspect that Westerners think of them. Uh, but <laughs> Samurai Warriors is about feudal Japan. Both yeah. are about the same people, so, and same thing, it's like talking about Nobunaga and the Oda tribe, or, uh, and the Oda's. And, uh, <clears throat> You basically you have like you have like the story mode which follows history, and then you have the uh, except there's like magic and stuff in them, but they're you know back then they thought there were like magic people, so they, they kind of follow that narrative, and uh, mm -hmm. and then there's um, uh, uh, and then there's like a free campaign where you can create a character and like you can uh, you can conquer Japan and China, so. They're really good. But anyway, th those people make some games for the Switch. They have, like, uh, Hyrule Warriors, and then they have, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, like, Zelda, and then they have Fire Emblem Warriors, which is Fire Emblem. But it's the same type of gameplay, so they're really fun games. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Cool. Oh. So the oh. only thing that keeps me from playing Fire Emblem is yeah. the strategy of it. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like, okay, so my suggestion for you on that, oh shit, I want to change characters uh, would be to play the newest one if you wanted to try it, because the newest one's probably the toward... that three houses? Yeah, three houses. It's okay. it's really good, and it has like it has more of a, it does have the battling and strategy, obviously, because it would be fire without it, but uh it also has, uh it also has the, uh, like, social aspect of it, of, like, you, you kind of, like... Because, I mean, let's be real, it's just a, it's like a dating sim with fighting. Yeah. Three Houses is so good. I've received a report. Three Houses is really dating good. Fighting. If chess could you make you horny. That's what it is, man. Dude, the game's so good, though. I don't know, the strategy, I like the strategy aspect of it, though. I mean, it pisses me off sometimes, because like you I fucking spend an hour on a fight and die, and you're <laughs> I don't yeah. mind dying at the beginning, because dying at the beginning is like, oh shit, well, I better not do that again. Yeah. But, uh, no, I, like, I'm just not very good with strategy. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just not one of my strong suits. Never has been. And so I don't typically play games that have, that involve yeah. a lot of strategy. Damn it, Lars. Well, the newest one, like, Three Houses has a lot of, like, I don't want to say handicaps, but, like, they have a lot of things to, to to help people who have never played games like that before. Like, you know, typical mm -hmm. Fire Emblem is, like, permadeath, so you lose a unit, they're dead. But on they on Three Houses, they have a mode where you can just, like, cut that off and you get them back after the fight's over. Or, mm -hmm. you can just dumb the, or dumb the difficulty down, you just knock the difficulty down. Yeah. So. Okay. I look at, I think if I do, Andrew would just be like, Fucking finally, and I'm just be like, okay, well, it's it's listen. Great, it's a great story. No, that's that's kind of why I'm thinking about playing it is because the the story does seem interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're all super. And I can finally understand the references that you guys always 
fucking talk about. Yeah. Is... Well, it's mostly me and Alex. Uh, Andrew only plays three houses. But he has any interest for any of the other ones. Oh, Elias, come on, dude. Stop touching my computer. No. Touch the computer. Touch the computer, Elias. Please no. Please no, sir. Defy thy father. I don't know why he is. Hold on, I'm gonna throw him at a wall. Give me a second. All right, turn back. We won't be hearing from that kid for a while. <laughs> All right. Some one t someday somebody's gonna fucking call CPS on you. <laughs> That's fine. It's I. That's fine. I can deal with them. I'll fuck <laughs> them up too. <laughs> uh, no, Cordelia. There we go. Cha 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 cha. Uh, but Warriors is basically. Damn it. Warriors is. Damn. Or, uh, Warriors is essentially like a cameo for like all the, it's, they have a couple of games that are just an excuse for like all the characters to gang up in one game and uh mm -hmm. and uh I feel like I've gotten a bit stronger. Um, um 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 sorry I was reading the message and it threw me off. No, it's uh, okay. I think your brother wants to play Minecraft with you. Yeah, I saw that. You and your brother look nothing alike. Well we have different ads. Oh, okay. Yeah. That explains it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was just kind of like, I was like, I can see it kind of a little bit, and you guys have similar voices in a way, but like, I was just kind of like, I was like, yeah. bruh. <laughs> you guys, it's like, it? kind of, something, something doesn't work here. So I kind of figured something like that was up, but yeah. I didn't want to be. I was, Too busy I, talking to the ladies to pick up the phone. No, dude, I'm playing Fire Emblem. Hello. How you doing? I'm here? not here. Really. I'm sorry. Oh. Did he just leave? What? Yeah, he just. I'm not oh, gonna like be this. here long and then he just fucking leave. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You're too busy talking to the ladies, me? I am goth wife now. Yeah, I don't know where that comes from, man. Uh, Andrew. I was like, Andrew, can you change my name? Since you're a mod, can you change my name to something other than Ferdinand von Ass Eater? Since we're apparently done with Ferdinand von Eiership. Yeah. And can you not change your own name? He was like, yeah. Huh? Did not let you change your own name? I I don't know how to do it because oh, I'm okay. an idiot. That's fine. I've seen so. But also, I just kind of was like, I was like, hey, pick something, just surprise me. Yeah. Like, and he picked goth waifu because he thinks I'm a goth. I mean, like, I guess I can, I can kind of be. I mean, you could be, yeah, if you wanted to be, but. No, like, I mean, like, I, the thing is, is like, I have, like, I like the, that goth shit, you know, like, I have that goth vibe. I just haven't dressed like that. Yeah. In since I was like thirteen, um, but also I guess, calling yourself God. I'm just saying. Like, I don't no, no, I I just he. It, I think it's like partially because like a lot of the pictures that he sees of me, I'm in lingerie, and my like lingerie choices are like very goth. <laughs> oh, okay. Because black is slimming. <laughs> like I say. A bit stronger. Oh. I guess I reckon there. I guess that makes sense. You sure? You sure? God, I just don't understand. They have my waifu. My first original waifu on uh, on Fire Emblem is this uh, dragon riding girl named uh, Minerva. She's a hottie. Uh, she's a badass too. She's a princess. And she's like, what well, ain't no bitch princess? Like, I'm a witch. She's like a Xena, as Frank oh, would say. Uh, uh, she she could eat Zena's ass. Of course it would. She anyway. could eat Zena's ass and I'd watch it. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> um, but uh, that was, she's, uh, for some reason she can. Wow. 
how that works, but uh, I'm not gonna question That's it because cool. I love her. They actually make a I don't know why I'm talking about this firewall information. <laughs> It's okay. I'm just when I'm We're playing. Just, I haven't talked to you in a while, so like you know. Sorry, I've been being gay. How nice. No, you've been busy, and I've also been really busy. Like I just got done with some Arabic homework, and I'm just kind of like. Oh yeah, I mean I haven't really been busy, but I've been working on my uh, game. Oh fuck! Don't tell me. No, I've been working on my game. I'm pretty far in it. I'm pretty happy with it actually. It's like I got a lot more than I thought it was. Gonna be. It's a lot more work though because I have to fucking. So basically, right now, I don't know if this is how it always is programming wise because obviously I'm not a pro. But, uh, I'm, uh, I have to like. Basically, I have to handwrite everything. We're not handwrite, but type everything out. And mm -hmm. I have to make like different timelines. Well, in those timelines, I have to fucking, uh, I have to. Sorry. Uh, I have to like make them the same but there's like a slight difference that's going to come later in the game but I still, so everything I do I have to do twice it's kind of look I mean I can copy and paste and shit like that but it's still it's like tedious it's very tedious work it's not hard so. yeah no I, I've I get it I, I haven't coded myself before but like I've um worked oh. on um databases like uh storing um like historical documents in the databases and stuff like that mm. and like critiquing other people on like their metadata and shit like that before and it's not hard it's just really tedious because yeah. you would like have to be like hey you don't have a semicolon right here and yeah it's not fun so i hate coding i don't want to code <laughs> Like, I just do not want to code. If I could just get a job where I don't have to code, okay, thanks, bye. Yep. <laughs> also, my second waifu is on here. Her name is Lind, and she's the, she's the daughter of a powerful mage. She's hot, too. Yeah. No, she's cute, actually. She's not hot. So, me and Andrew were talking about body pillows yesterday. Uh -huh. If you had a body pillow, which I don't know if you do, mm -hmm. but uh, if you do, whatevs. Um, if you had a body pillow, who would it be of? Minerva. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I think it would be. Yeah, she's been, uh... I think. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. I said I I was gonna do, uh... Merlin. That guy? The main, the no. Guy? Okay, okay. I, know no. I know a little Merlin bit of Seven just... Deadly Sins, but I don't know a lot of it because I don't play, like, Let's see if I can find a good picture of her. Hold on. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. I'll put it. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Merlin Seven Deadly Sins. With Petra. Petra's awesome. Yeah, Petra. She's the one that actually. No, no, Shamir was better. Oh, I'm sorry. Very awesome. Hi, kitty cat. A little bit of full captain. Fuck today, son. Food to resist. Free these worms from their misery. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yeah, they're looking like they're going. To... Good time to kill them. Let's see. How do you unlock chests? I don't remember. Right here, ready. Right here. Put her in our chat. Okay. Let's see. Oh, she's pretty hot. Yeah. Ready. Okay, Cordelia. Um, 
So yeah, that's 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 who I would uh, get a body pillow of. Or uh, what's her face from uh, uh, from fucking One Punch? Uh, tornado. The storm. Yeah, the storm girl. Yeah. Name's not Tornado, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't think what it the is. Her but that's what she does. Is, I know her. I know her sister's name is um, Blizzard. Blizzard's pretty fucking hot too. Yeah. Leave it to me. Yeah, I don't actually remember a lot. I mean, I remember. I remember a lot because uh, one time was great. But I just don't remember a lot of the names. She watches the man she loves. Every other girl. She steals it. Sing it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why are you not? Now we just need to get Validar. Now we just need to get Validar. I don't want to see Validar yet. But I'm done here. Do you think you've been acting as you please? You've been right into my hands. I see enemy reinforcements. Well, damn, Sal. That didn't go too well. Robin? What's wrong with you? Could... Robin, we're gonna kick your ass again because you're fucking. Knock some sense back into Robin. I've been waiting to do this, you fucking glorified tactician. Oh shit, that was hurting me. Poison fog. That'll do stuff. Um, so if I. So Braxton, I made the mistake of telling Braxton that, uh, I. Howdy. Howdy. Who's that? I made. I'm... So anyway, I made the mistake of telling Braxton that I DM like D and D campaigns, so like I write my own D and D campaigns. Oh yeah. And now he's been bothering the shit out of me. About he straight up called me today and was like, "So how's D and D writing going?" And I was like, "Uh, I, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, you know, busy with life." Right. Like lots, of, lots been going on, man. And so I, like, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, doing this like mini campaign, um, using Jared's uh, game Ace of Mod. And um, I was, I need players. So right now I've got Braxton and I've got Andrew. Um, and I was wondering if like you'd be interested. Um, it'd be. So the the premise is um, I haven't really worked it out yet because like I said I haven't really started it but I have like a premise in mind. Uh, it's in the universe of Avatar: Last Airbender, um, and uh, it's you know it's the it's in the time of Avatar Kyoshi, uh, and the party is supposed to help her defeat Chin the Conqueror, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can be a bender um, of any of the four elements, um, and you, uh, if you don't want to be a bender, you have uh, two classes that you can do. Uh, you can do Way of the Sword and Way of the Fan, uh, and I haven't really, really like worked out the. Uh, I haven't really worked out the dynamics of that yet, but that's something that I'm planning on doing. Um, but, I don't know. I, I would, it would probably be like every other Friday because mm -hmm. I don't think I can play every every week. That sounds good. Um, I mean, that's think, enough time to take a break. 
Yeah, I mean, like, and it gives me enough time to prepare for next session. Oh my god. <laughs> I hear you die. What happened? You fall in lava. <laughs> I did not die. What happened? Okay, so there's this ravine that's under the underground a yeah. good bit of ways, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could have reported that. Actually, I think I can. Yeah, you should be able to have your Microsoft thing. That's funny. That's funny. That's her. I don't want to stop the ceremony. I want to find the fucking key. Where's the key? Quickly defeat Valadar! I don't have to quickly defeat him. It's fine. What's he gonna do? Damn, and I was just lost. Are you guys planning on playing Minecraft all night? Uh, no, I gotta work tomorrow morning. I mean, I'm about to hop on after uh, that. No, I was I was gonna ask if uh, after Andrew got off work if you guys wanted to play some like a couple games of Among Us. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. um, of course he doesn't get off till ten. I'm probably gonna be getting off around nine. Okay. Yeah, Where do you work, Austin? Awesome. McDonald's. Remember McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. I have not worked in food service, thank goodness, but I've worked in retail, which is like, it's only like one step better than uh, food service, but it's still not great. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think that food service has a good trade off whenever you eat food. I mean, they don't allow you to eat food, but I did. I did too. <laughs> I still do. And it ain't good. I'm getting fat again. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm fired up back up. You're like, you're almost as skinny as Alex. And apparently Alex is really skinny, is but he skinny. also somehow yeah. looks like Daniel Radcliffe no, as well. <laughs> I don't know why people say that. <laughs> I don't know why anybody started saying that. That's just that's just because been a recent Andrew thing. Because Andrew tried to tried to talk to me about like he I asked him like describe Alex for me Not and he was reckless. like <laughs> he's got he was like he's got black hair that's kind of shaggy right now and he's like wears glasses and he's like like skinny and white and I was like for some reason I'm picturing Harry Potter <laughs> and like Alex was like yeah. You know, if you can just think of me as Daniel Radcliffe, that's basically what I look like. And so now it's just kind of stuck in my head that Alex looks like Daniel Radcliffe. I have no idea what he looks like. That. I've never seen him before. Yeah. He looks good right now. He's got his haircut. I'm getting a haircut on Tuesday, and I cannot wait because I fucking hate how long my hair is right now. You stick it in the lesbian cut. You gotta go short again. Yeah, it's just, it never grows out. If I ever wanted to grow it out again, it's never gonna grow out gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it just looks real shaggy, and also, like, I have hair. So, like, I have, I have a Jufro. Uh huh. And. And my shit kind of sticks Lice. out all of it's, it's like wavy and it's got a lot of body to it. Yeah. And it just kind of like it'll stick out and just like it'll look like a ton of cows just made out with my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my jam. And I basically used to take care of my hair back when it was like really long. Because you can, I used to have like yeah. hair. Um, I used I used to have to do so much to be able to take care of my hair. Um, it's really expensive to keep up with. It was really tiring. I spent at least two hours every day on my hair, and I do not want to go back to that. So I like my short hair. I like my lesbian cut because with my lesbian cut, I can get up and roll out of bed, and I don't even have to brush my hair. And I can just like, this is who I am. I can be lazy and I don't have to spend a lot of money on my hair. 
Nice. Well, I'm just saying it's a woman's duty to look good for men. That's all I'm saying. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. I do look good for men. Okay. Keep telling yourself that, sweetie, when you don't look like you know, you're not blonde hair, blue eyes, big old honkaroonies. I big... can't have blonde hair or blue eyes. I mean, like, nat my natural hair color is blonde, but, like, I like I think I look better with the redhead. And blue eyes. I have brown eyes. <laughs> like, yep. An American. And I'm not, I'm not putting contacts in. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I used to them. wear contacts. Just change your eyes. That That's what I'm saying. Just change my eyes. Pluck them out. Just pluck them out. Fucking. Got a new staff. Yay. All right. Let's get out of here. If you can't have blue eyes, don't have any eyes. Exactly. Make them blue. With, what uh, color is glaucoma? your eyes, Christian? Blue. It's every really? color in the gosh dang world. Yeah, blue. The bluish, brownish, greenish color. Yeah, blue. Blue with like the green inside. Ah, uh, so you got like them pretty oh. eyes. Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's my eye, my eye shape's not pretty, so. I got like those drowsy eyes that my son has. So. Yeah, I've got like Gucci bags under my eyes, so. I've got them. Good bags. I'm just, I inherited yeah. that. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm saying, well, it's not because I'm tired, it's because, like... Just... No, yeah, I, I'm the same way. I've got bags under my eyes, like, because my parents, like, both my parents have bags under their eyes. They just, that's just their face shape. So I, I have that shit. Okay. Valid Genetics are annoying. Yeah, because, really like, are. so... I have good skin in the fact that, like, I don't break out often. Like, I don't get pimples really that often. Mm -hmm. um, but I get stretch marks really bad. Ah, oh, so you have, like, sensitive, tight skin. I have, like, I have, like, like, I have so many stretch marks over my body. It's ridiculous. Looks like confetti. I don't like it. It's funny. I think oh, everybody no, I, has stretch like, marks to some degree. Well, yeah, no, everybody has stretch marks, but like mine, mine aren't like mine aren't faded. They are like red. Like, it's cause you're white, you're I honestly don't think I have stretch marks. Oh, but I'm so fat. Oh my uh, god. Said, I actually don't. Yeah, think fuck I have off, that. fucking skinny kid. Yeah, Austin's a skinny kid. He's skinny. Uh, he's like, oh my god, I'm so fat, bitch. Don't even. <laughs> Come at me when you are like nearly 30 and your body's gone to shit and you're just like I'm honestly I'm waiting for that moment. Like I I keep thinking about like I've peaked. Like I am in decline now. I'm 25 <laughs> years old and I'm in decline. It's <laughs> as good as it's going to get and that sucks. <laughs> Like it's it wasn't even that good to begin with, and this is this is as good as it's gonna get. It's all downhill from here, baby. I would do anything to have my body that I had when I was fucking sixteen years old. Like, oh my god. Like I was chubby, but I was like that thick chubby. Like I was like that like good good. Like full of oatmeal chubby. <laughs> Why isn't Tyler in here? Is he playing with you on Minecraft? No, uh Devin is. What the heck? Long story short. Why is it? Get that shit in here. Tyler jumped in. Step in. Oh, also I found out how to um check and see like what um what's it called effects that you have on yourself, like whenever they like potions and stuff like that. Oh yeah. You have to press select or like um like on controller. Oh mother effer. Anyways, um, so you have to press a, a... You gotta press select, like, on an Xbox controller. Could it be? I don't know what button that would be on a Switch or anything else. Or... Yeah. Hello, Father. Oh, it's back, to the, back to the story that I was... What'd you say? On PC, all you have to do is just click, Better which is why PC is Master Race. Yes, Father. I'm playing on PC now. God. Good. But I'm playing with a controller. Good. No, you're fine. To my ear. Everybody right. else, all these other bitches, Crow, gotta watch you out. That? You got a minute? Pardon the intrusion, <laughs> my lord, but the last patrol returned with vital information. 
They reported and it's like what I was saying about the Grand Old Creeper, or not Creeper, but um, me almost like falling to my death. Pretty much, I was um, I was on the surface, and I was just placing a couple of blocks, you know, just building this uh, nice little small bridge over just a little bit of the lake. And I was filling up a hole, and so it was alright. The way it was generated was that the sand was just chilling with nothing under it, like no sandstone. So, I placed down one another piece of sand to like try and cover it and up and everything like that. Down. It all came down and I fell into a ravine and the sand was right under me and I surprisingly survived by... There was water, I fell into the lava, then the water came and like blocked it and I was like... <laughs> I'm so lucky! I'm gonna start going to church again. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't. Just oh, dude, I got Fortune 2, Efficiency 3, Iron, Spade, I like that. Hey, I like that. <sighs> what do I look like a Jew to you? As a Jew, hi, how you doing? Oh my freaking god. I just said that I have a Jew fro, Austin. <laughs> Did you think I was kidding about that? <laughs> Austin, <laughs> keep up. I don't know. Nah, it's cool. I, like, I ain't, I, like, I honestly am not Jewish enough for it to really count. I just like doing that to people that because they think that, like, they're Jewish. safe and they can just be like, hey, stop being a Jew. And I'm like, uh, I am Jewish. And then they, oh, they're God. like, oh, I'm so sorry. And it's like, nah, it's cool. <laughs> just fun to give people shit. Like, I, I, mean, I swear. I yeah, swear. I'm like, I'm going to report you. And then they're just like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, it's pretty fun. My dad's the CEO of Microsoft. Um, cool. Your dad's penis. It is Microsoft. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forget. You're a child. I can't talk to you like this. My brother talks ten times worse. I don't I want to hear I, that. I, I know he does. <laughs> It's just so weird. I used to babysit, uh, when I was like 18, I used to babysit kids that are your age. Wait, and, like, really? What? Yeah. Like, they're now your age. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, they're now your age. I thought you were talking age. about, like, <laughs> currently the age that I'm at. I was like, no. what? Like, what? I, babysit, I babysit 17 year olds. No, I do not. That would be really weird. No, I used to babysit kids that, like, you know, um, are about eight, nine years younger than me. And, yeah, um, it's just very strange to me because, like, I know you're not really, like, you're not, like, a child. Like, you're a young adult. But, like, it just, it, it really freaks me out. It also makes me feel ancient, even though I'm not. I'm only 25! makes me feel really really old you make me feel old fuck you and your youth <laughs> i hate you it all goes downhill it me. really does though <laughs> like, it really does once you like once you hit 20 you start sleeping in weird positions you're gonna know it like your body is gonna be like well <laughs> uh, that's fucked up your back's fucked up forever now <laughs> Because you slept weird. Like, or you stood too long or something, you know? Like. I'm only 17, that's already happening to me. I'm pretty sure I got arthritis, so I'm pretty sure I'm already getting there. Like, I am crunchy. Like, every time <laughs> I stand up, my body just, like, crackles. Like, it's fucking made of Rice Krispies. My knees do that. 
Yeah, my knees have been doing that for ages, like, but I'm talking like my whole body, I stand up and it's just like, I, I too want to party, crackle, crackle. <laughs> oh my god, and like, when you start drinking, like, uh, you probably have started drinking because I, you know, I know. Um, yeah. we all know. No. I've, I've been drinking since I was 16 years old, I fucking know that shit. <laughs> well, good for you, man. Yeah, You're well, gonna be getting you some liver damage by the time you're 26. Yeah, no, I'm like an alcoholic for sure. I should not have started drinking so young. But I get hangovers. I used to not get hangovers. Sorry I used to be able this. to just like... I'm teaching your like kid brother all about life. I'm uh, like, this shit can't. That's okay. He knows. He knows a little bit. Um, I'm telling him about how, like, once he turns 20, his body's gonna start going to shit. I mean, yeah. But... See the progression in my brother, I believe it. Hey, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> your brother's not even, your brother's not even, like, compared to, like... It was like, a joke, it was a joke. He likes to think, though. Like, fucking Christian sent me one time, he was just like... I'm an old man or some shit like that. And I'm like, you are 23. Like, you are younger than me. Shut up. And he's like, women age slower than men or some yeah. shit like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it must be so hard, you know, having all these rights and, like, usable pockets on your jeans. We don't even have rights. What do you mean? <laughs> what are pockets? What are pockets? Cargo pants? Like what are pants, pants even? What are pants? It's a All right, I'm gonna jump on some Minecraft arena. God, these kids both decided to be. Just, just kick them. Just kick them. That's like oh, I do. I will. I'll make the shizzle nizzle out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? The shizzle nizzle. Do it, you what? I'll die the wheel too, buddy. I swear to, I swear to giving. Diet. Are you serious? <laughs> I love, I love how you try to bargain with your children, Christian. Wish... Like you're just not even, you're not like other parents where they're just kind of like, honey, don't do that. You're just kind of like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God, if you just take one more step, I'm gonna kick you and slap you across the face. Try me. <laughs> Uh, like, it's just so funny to me. Well, you know, when you got kids, you, you got them. <laughs> that's, uh, that's for sure. I bet my I bet my mom said the same shit to me when I was what young. Do I just don't remember it. Yeah. Like... Oh, I'll tell you what, thing. Uh... What would you like to do? Gosh. Is this alright? Yep. That's it. <sighs> Is this alright? That went well. Is this alright? Stop yawning. Right? So Tyler's not playing? Well, I bet he called him to play Genshin. But I'm not like Tyler. I don't want to. I thought he said that he was going to be getting on around 10. I don't know. He called me, but I couldn't answer. Hey, uh, you my hat for a second. Am I what, Austin? That went well. I mean, have you even like seen my house yet or no? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't even know what you're building, dude. Building? Dude, I don't know where you're building, dude. That went well. Is this alright? That went well. Is this alright? Then left around. That went well. Bro, I don't even know what you're hey. building, dude. I, I may have had um. Oh crap! Now my horse. I'm going to. I haven't even started yet, dude. Damn, there must be a lot of levels on this game. In the gallery. I think the highest level I've ever been on Minecraft was like 105. Jesus freaking Christ! Yeah, before I died, and then I died. I lost like... all of that experience. It was awful. Nah, you lose all of it. You got you gain like a grand. Well, now you know they give those books, and you can do you can do <laughs> like uh, you can store them in the books. Oh really? Wait, yeah. What? Yeah. So basically, you can. You can enchant books with your uh, experience in, for the purpose of just having them in that book, and then you can use the book later to, to smith enchantments on there. 
but wow yeah. oh, okay yeah. oh okay so you're talking about like enchanting the books then right yeah yeah that's what enchanted books are for then okay 